Hi, this is Nikki Lynam from EducatingNow.com, and I am here with my friend Kat, who is just starting grade nine. And how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. So we are going to be doing the gloss assessment, which is um, really going to hone in and looking at strategies. So uh, Kat doesn't really know anything about this yet, so I'm going to tell her exactly what you might tell your students if you're doing this with them. So the whole purpose of doing this diagnostic is just to see what math you can do mentally and what strategies you're using and the goal of it is so that your teacher can better help you learn math because they'll know what strategies you already know and which strategies you need to still develop. Does that make sense? Part of the protocol is I'm supposed to read them all to you. I know you know how to read but <laughs> that's part of it. So um, there are five cups in each row. There are six rows of cups. How many cups are there all together? 30. And how did you know? 5 times 6. All right. Here's our next one. You have 20 jelly beans. Each quarter of the cake should have the same number of jelly beans on it. How many jelly beans go on each quarter of the cake? I'm not very good at division. That's okay. <laughs> so you know it's a division question, so yeah. tell me what you're doing right now in order to figure that out. <laughs> I'm trying to sort them into quarters. Okay, so you're trying to sort this many into, and what does quarters mean? Like fourths? Yeah. So you're, you're going to, yeah. You're also allowed to at any point say, I don't know. Like that's a legitimate answer. No. Okay. No problem. Um, task six. Okay. I don't think I'm saying this person's name correctly, but Tamati had 57 model dinosaurs. He gives 25 to his cousin Alice. How many does he have left? 32. And how did you get that? Um, I'm minus 25. And how did you do that? Um, I minus the 20 and made it 30 and then subtracted 2. Thank you. All right. Malcolm has 24 clothes pegs. Can you see that as a clothesline? Yeah. Um, he uses two pegs to hang out each piece of clothing. How many pieces of clothing can he hang out? And how did you get that? Um, I counted with my fingers by two. Thank you. Perfect. Um, Zach has eight packs of drink. This is from New Zealand, so I don't think they don't see the S there. Um, each pack has six cans. How many cans is that all together? Okay, what were you doing? I could hear you. I was, were you skip counting? No, I was going like 8 plus 8 is 16. Yeah, so you were counting up 8. That's, yeah. Yeah, let's skip counting. How many times would you need to skip count 8 to figure out what the answer is? 6 times. Yeah. All 
right. Ruka picks six boxes of raspberries in 18 minutes. How long does Ruka take to pick three boxes? Nine. And how'd you get that? Um, I just, like, half 18. So just uh, for the sake of the viewers, there's a, a guide that goes with it. So it tells you what to say and it tells you um, how to score it. I'm not getting too hung up on the actual score because really for me this is just about getting to know my students. So we will continue. Hanny uses 32 carrots to fill four bags. How many carrots does he need to fill 12 bags? Six. And how did you get that? Um, I times thirty two by thirty three. Or yeah. Okay. So Kathy ran four and three tenths or four point three kilometers on the first day, and she ran five and fifteen hundredths kilometers on the second day. How far did Kathy run all together? Nine point um, eighteen. And how'd you get that? I just added it together. Okay. And how did you decide which of these numbers to add to which of these numbers? I understand where you got I don't your nine know from. Because I don't know. You weren't I, you weren't sure? I wasn't sure how to okay. do the decimal part. Okay, thank you. And there are 33 boxes. Each box holds 12 bottles of lemonade. How many bottles are there altogether? I don't know. Okay. Not sure how to solve the problem or how to well, execute I, the math I know to solve how, it. Yeah, I don't know how to execute the so math. So what would you do to I solve it? Multiply. Okay. And does it stump you because there's two digits by two digits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is where it's really hard because as a teacher I just want to tell you how to do it, but that's not <laughs> the point of this. 